we're going to pick this up with the adapter grapple. Any grapple would work. And they're going to unpin it. This is where it stays during travel. And when you're not using it, say it's right here, we're going to pick it up. He'll bring it around and we'll drop it into two saddles back here in the, in the operational form. All right, Terrell. All right, here we have the chipper feed adapter in. I designed this, as you can see, to be moved convenient from here to there. Now, when the chipper feed adapter is in operation, you do not hand feed. I want to repeat that. Do not hand feed this from mechanically feed, fed only. Now, what happens here is we're protecting the bar that engages the hydraulic rollers, keep it from being damaged. All right, as the trees go in, in reverse order, the top will go in first here, and then as the limbs are out, they will be folded back here as the adapter grapple and the Kubota pushes them in here, as we'll, we'll view in a few minutes. Now, when we go around, the next thing we're gonna do is pick this up, and you have legs on both sides that got pins, and we'll pick this up and set the legs to stabilize the chipper. But as you'll see, this is designed to fold the limbs back as they go in, and as the rollers take it, you'll turn loose of it and you go get another. This makes chipping totally mechanical. There will be no hands used. From this time on, uh, we're going to show you how to feed the chipper feed adapter with the grapple, uh, adapter grapple. This is all done mechanically. There will be no human hands touching. And we're going to reverse feed it into the chipper. This is the reason you have the chipper feed adapter. So when you pick a tree up, as you'll see in a minute, pick it up, you can go vertical with it, get out of a tight place. Now we'll back up. Go straight. straight into the chipper. Just feed it kind of slowly to start with because you can actually feed the chipper faster than the rollers can take it. Now, the rollers are pulling on it. Let go of it. That tree is already fed. Go back and get another. Here's an oak tree full of vines. That would be very difficult for anybody to feed. Here we'll go up vertical here, turn as you can see. All you do is line up with the chipper. Ease the top down. Ease forward. Just keep it in the middle. The chipper feed adapter. We'll fold all the limbs back, and as you can see, start feeding. Now with the chipper fit, with the chipper feed adapter, we'll fold the limbs back, and all these vines represent no problem. Because you can push it in with the uh, adapter grapple here. Just feed it right on in. If you need to, you can take your grapple, give it a little nudge. Now, you've got that in there. Now we're going to take the chipper feed adapter off. What, you, what he'll pick up on it, and then we'll pull the pins, and pick up on the legs. All right, do it. And pull the pins.
pick up on the legs, put the pins back in it. All right, now we'll unpin it, unpin it from the frame. All right. Yeah, put it back on the side. All right, we're gonna lift it up. He'll come around, we'll put it back on the side in the carrier position, which you would normally go down the road with. Notice this alters the chipper in, in no way. You have a mechanical fed chipper and a hand fed chipper all in one. This just converts a mechanical, a hand fed chipper to a mechanically fed chipper. All right, put it back on, John. It takes a little practice to do this, but once you do it, it's just only a matter of minutes to put it on and off. This gives you the ability to hand feed a chipper that's hand fed when the need arises, or if, you or if you have a large job that you have a lot of material to chip, then you simply put the chipper feed adapter on your chipper and you're, you're mechanically fed from there on. That's it. It's ready to go down the road now in the road position.